Here is a T-Mobile Revel tab. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. First thing is uh, go ahead and turn it on, press and hold that power button until it turns on. Once it turns on, you should be at this screen right here. From here, you can go ahead and choose your language. For myself, I'm good with English in the United States. And I will tap on start here. Connect to mobile network. You can download your eSIM or insert a physical SIM card now. Okay, you can do this now or you can even do it after the setup and then you can do either or. Okay, but I already have my SIM card here. Let's just go ahead and do this now. So I'm going to insert my physical SIM card I got right here. Let me go ahead and pop this out just like that. Now the SIM tray is on the bottom left hand side here. Okay, you can see that little tiny hole in the outline of the tray. So go ahead and grab your SIM ejection tool. It does come out of your box right here next to the cable. You can see mine right there. But if you don't have that, no problem. You can always use like a different SIM ejection tool from a different phone or tablet. Or you can even use like a um, like a paper clip, bobby pin, even the back of a stud earring, as long as the needle is kind of long and very thin. Okay. So let me go ahead and grab this and we're gonna go ahead and put the SIM ejection tool into the SIM tray here where the hole is and then I'm going to press towards the, the, uh, the tablet. And as soon as I do that, that lip pops out like a little tiny bit right there. Now let me go ahead and slide this out. And I'm going to leave it just like this so I know exactly how to put it back in. It's not going to fit in. I need to go ahead and pull this part out right there. And now you can see the SIM card here, a little bit smaller. Now there's a diagonal slit on the bottom right hand side here. Like this is the SD card side and this is the SIM, SIM card. We want to put the SIM here. Diagonal slit is on the bottom right hand side. So, and you can't get this wrong, okay? So you're going to put it in just like this. The metal contact is going to be on the bottom, okay? Oop, let me go ahead and pop that back on here. Don't turn it upside down or it's going to fall out, okay? So let's go ahead and pop this back in here. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put it in. Don't tip it over. It's going to it's going to fall out. So I'm going to slide it in. Just like that. Give it one second now. Okay. Now we're moving on to Wi-Fi. Oh, I get this uh switching operator bands. It is detected that you have replaced or pulled out the SIM card. Would you like to restart your phone to update the system? Sure, I'm going to go ahead and just update right now really quickly. Let it restart. Booting back up. Okay, back to connecting the Wi-Fi. You can set up offline as well, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and connect my now, my home Wi-Fi network here. I'm going to input my password. Once you put in your Wi-Fi password, tap on connect. Checking for updates, this may take a few minutes. Update tablet. Your tablet needs to download and update and restart. Okay, so okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on next here. Now it's installing the system update. This may take several minutes to download and install. Afterwards, your device will automatically restart. So let's be patient here now. Restarting now. It'll be stuck on the screen for a while, so be patient here. System update is successful. Let's tap on OK right there. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more from a different device. Okay, if you want to do that, you can tap on next here. And then you would need a old uh, your Android phone or tablet or an iPhone. Okay, but for myself, I'm going to click on back and I'm going to click on don't copy because this is going to be a fresh install for me. Google sign in, basically your Gmail, you can go and sign in now, or you can create an account, or you can skip what I'm gonna do and just sign in later if you wish. Google services, use location, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data. These are all optional, okay? So it's up to you, it's a preference. I'm fine with having all of them toggled on, and I'll tap on accept. Set up a pin, basically a password. You can skip this, but I would advise to put in something now. 
So let me go ahead and choose, choose my four digits here. After you type it in, we're going to tap on next. It's going to ask you to re-enter one more time. After the second time, tap on confirm to proceed. Review additional apps, just the McAfee security for T-Mobile. I'll tap on OK there. Device diagnostic, go ahead and read through that and read through this down here. And you can untoggle both of them if you wish or just one of them. For mine, I'm fine having, uh, you know what, I'm just going to turn both of mine off and I'll accept and, con accept and continue. Voila, looks like we are in business. Really quickly, let me check my uh, SIM card. Let me just go to settings here. Let me go to network and internet. I'm going to tap on mobile devices. It says T-Mobile there too. Tap on there. And you can see mobile data and roaming. They toggle those on by default. So, so it looks good. You can type, tap in advanced too. You can read down here as well. So it looks good. Questions or issues? Comment below.